I'm a hip hop artist and I released a song and it's it's about universalism. Like everything about it is theological. I'm not I'm not I'm not doing a you know, I'm not I'm not being vague about my about my Christian beliefs and in, in the song at all. I'm just saying that Jesus will save everybody. And so it's a, it's an explicit theological statement. And let's just say a lot of opportunities to perform at festivals, to perform at different venues, specifically churches. When they heard my music, that particular song, I'm pretty sure, because most of my songs is just, you know, it's it's not really, at that point, the vast majority of my catalog was more so of the uh, general faith stuff and nobody would really find any, you know, would find any reason to not, to not affirm what I'm saying in them. But specifically that song, and there's been plenty of times where people have heard my music and then they told me that they I, I was taking off the ticket away invaded hell and paid my bill lake of fire purify and every lie it took the keys for death and he won't retire as early as i can remember back in croatia when i was in a little village i love music i wanted to listen to music i wanted to make music whether it was like banging pots and pans or like making a song singing like it's just something that's been in me since as far back as I could remember. It wasn't something that I wanted. It was something that wanted me and like was pulling me and calling me. And then when I came to America, it was the same. Like going through school, I, I, there's a lot of things that I'm interested in, but it never leaves. So and then when I became a Christian, I thought, oh, all music is evil, you know, because I was taught that, right? So you know, Lucifer was was the the greatest singer in heaven and. All this stuff that is made up and you know music is from the devil and you know so I was like whoa and, and I, the music I was doing was all ego and pride and, and, and money and sex and violence you know so definitely what I was doing was not coming from a, a place of empowerment and it, and, it, and it wasn't something that I could deliver to you and that would empower you I've deleted all those albums which was hard it was, I, you know, it was over a decade of my life that I worked very hard for, and I just took them all off. Um, you can still find videos and stuff. I can't take all of that off from other people's, you know, YouTube channels. But as far as my music, I took it all off. And then I thought, okay, I'm going to quit music. I'll just get a job, and I'll live a humble life. And after being Christian, after I kind of started being comfortable in, as a Christian, because it was incredibly uncomfortable at first. I just, I felt like I'm too dirty for church, but now I'm kind of too clean for my friends. I don't belong in either place, you know? And I had a, a ex-gang member at a church just come to me at the right time, like out of nowhere. And he was like, hey, I want to talk to you, man. Let me take you out for coffee. He took me out for coffee. He's like, this is what you're going through. You no longer belong with your guys. You're not going to feel comfortable, but you feel like it's like he literally like told me what I was going through. And he kind of like that one conversation, about a two hour conversation, just completely changed my, my trajectory. Like, oh, I actually do belong with God, you know. And, um, but I had stopped doing music because I thought like, oh, you can only do dirty music. And then once I got comfortable in my, in my skin as, okay, this is who I am now. I'm not that person anymore. I'm someone different. Songs started coming to me again. You know, and they just come, like random times, like the ideas just start coming and popping up. It's something that just happens without me trying to force it. And uh, then I, start, I started doing Christian music, I changed my whole thing. And then as that was going, I started seeing the bigger picture of, of who Christ was. And so where I'm at now, I'm, I'm just doing music because I feel like it's a gift that God gave me. I believe that. I. I give glory to God by using the gifts that He gave me. And my hope is to use those gifts to help bring other people to God. Not, in, not to save them from hell, but to introduce them to who they truly are. Because I believe a life walked with God is a life where you're alive. What I'm working on now, once I release the music, you'll see how it's just pervasive like universalism just pervasive in everything that I'm trying to say. And I, I will, I'm trying to work on, and it's very hard. Like when I think about it, like it's very difficult 
And the, like the only, honestly, the reason why I think it's so it was so easy for a lot of rappers coming up to speak about theology in their music, like Shy Lin, all these different kind of people. He's a he's a he's a Calvinist. He's reformed. But it's very easy for him to articulate his Calvinist beliefs in his music because there's so many sources that he can pull from. But when it comes to Christian universalism, it's kind of hard because it's like you sort of you sort of get into it, and then it's sort of it's such a niche position to take in Christian in Christianity. Like it's very difficult to find a lot of writers on it, you know. And so I literally had to do the best that I possibly could to find the best theologians that I had that I can find that are th that are that are, uh, that are universalists and try to incorporate a lot of what they say and in, in, in the way that I'm communicating my universalism in my music it would be so much easier for me to like communicate to make a song about hell because I have so much stuff to pull from and you know in the uh, in the Christian in the Christian in the Christian zeitgeist I guess and so, so when it comes to universalism, it's kind of more difficult because there's so much, there's so much, there's so little that I can actually pull from in terms of universalism. So it's almost like trying to communicate a concept. And it's, it's already hard because, you know, being a hip hop artist, you have to literally, it's, it's the most, it's the most lyrically tuned um, genre of music. Because you literally, it's literally nothing but lyrics. Like when it comes to other kinds of music, hip hip a hip hop song would probably be well not today. You know you have, but more lyrically centered hip hop songs would be would be like it'll be like three times as many words in a song than a, than your regular song sung by like Adele or something. So it's a lot. It's just a lot more that you have to put into it. But um, Christian universalism. Whenever I start to release music again. It's going to just be pervasive in everything that I try, and almost everything that I say. It's going to be pervasive. And so that's, that's basically what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to propel it into the consciousness of like Christian hip hop. Like, it's all, like, look, hey, I'm over here. I believe that God will save all people. It's okay. And I think a lot of Chris, I think I, this is what I really do believe. I think a lot of Christian hip hop artists actually agree with me. They just won't say it because. A lot of Christian hip hop artists, they get invited to these evangelical churches. And if you even as much as even mention the idea that God will save all, you'll get kicked off. You'll get kicked off the stage. I just think just listening to a lot of hip hop artists that are in this sphere, I think a lot of them would be like, yeah, I fundamentally agree with you. I won't say that in my music, though. You know, so I think what I'm trying to do is make it a reasonable position to take, especially in hip hop, especially in Christian hip hop, because there's, I've heard everything in hip hop in terms of like, in terms of content. I've never heard anybody speak about God being able to save everybody. So hopefully it, it, my music and the, in the song that I have now burning up, hopefully it'll actually, I guess, embrace people to come out and come out a little bit more strong with the beliefs that they have that they actually currently hold I have a video called Jesus Savior of all it's it's very scriptural right so so I went through all the scriptures and made it come together and did it poetically and it, you could almost do a thesis on that poem and it's and it's a very biblically based and theological and you could think it out and cross-reference it and do all these things the way where I'm at with it now would be a combination of, of the worship and the theological, where it's more just allowing God, allowing the Holy Spirit, allowing love to write a beautiful piece of art, to write a beautiful song. Does it bring beauty into the world? Sometimes that might bring more people to God than me telling you all the theology that I could think of on the spot. And so that, that's where I'm at right now with it. Just being in love with life, being in love with God, being in love with the gifts He gave me and using them to bring beauty into this world, using them to bring light into this world. That would be my hope with, with music. It would be hoped to, that it gives, to, to be able to, to give glory to God by doing what, what He gave me to do and to use it as a platform to show the love of God for all 
because I think that is one of the, the primary things in this life. To know, is this universe evil or is it good? You know, it, and is God evil or is he good? And I do believe it will transform this world. I believe, I believe that in the end, his love will conquer all things. And I believe in the end, he will be all in all. So that's the ultimate reason that I get to do music. And music is a platform that I could then point people in that direction.